don't forget to consider this one thing before you think about making a purchase of real estate anywhere in Canada. This is going to be a super quick, short video today in exchange for keeping it short. I'm hoping that you can please hit that like button, help get this message out to more people. And if I get more likes on this particular video than any of my other videos, I'm going to take that as a message. Hey, Steve, don't talk too much. Keep it short and get to the point. Before you think about buying a new home anywhere in the country, especially if you're purchasing after a sale, you have to remember this one thing. When you purchase a property, you're going to need a deposit. Now, depending on province or area, there may be different rules surrounding deposits, but many homeowners these days are living paycheck to paycheck. And in my marketplace of Surrey, BC, it's customary to have a deposit when you're purchasing a property of about 5% of the overall purchase price. So before you start the process of making a move, make sure you actually have access to the deposit funds. If you don't have access to about 5% in my marketplace, maybe lower in or higher in some other areas of the country, but if you don't have access to about 5% as cash in the bank, you'll have to look into where you will be able to come up with the money. Often it's family or borrowing it from the bank in the short term, but there are also companies that will actually lend you this money for a fee for a short period of time. Just be careful though, where you borrow the money. Cause if you borrow it in the wrong way, it may be like maybe off a credit card or something like that. You might actually screw up your credit rating, or there's a possibility that it will mess up your debt ratio and actually actually screw up your financing for the deal altogether with your lender. So make sure you're getting advice from your mortgage broker before you start the process rather than scrambling at the last minute. Last, it's most usual that you would actually pay the deposit when you submit a subject free offer, or if you have a conditional offer upon subject removal. So in the event that you're actually writing offers today, you want to make sure you have access to those deposit funds within about 24 hours. Most of the time, the deposit is paid via bank draft. So what you have to do is you have to go to the bank, they actually make a draft for you a small fee of about 10 bucks in order to do that. And then it will actually, the draft itself will be made payable to your brokerage's trust account, but it also could be made out to the listing brokerage. Uh, so one of the party's lawyers, or in some cases, even the seller themselves. There you go. A quick topic, but you have to know it before you start the process. If you have any questions, please comment down below or reach out and remember to subscribe. So you're automatically entered to win that bag of goodies back there in our thousand subscriber giveaway contest. Hit that like button and we'll see you next time.